Hi friends. Today another story called Allergic to Bullets. And this is uh, a story I found in, in, on the internet. Um, and I don't know who wrote it. But it's a very powerful story. And um, I thought I wanted to share it with you. So this is Allergic to Bullets. Or as I call it, the parable of choice. Listen to this and let it really sink in. Then choose how you start your day tomorrow. Jerry is the kind of guy you love to hate. He's always in a good mood and always has something positive to say. When someone would ask him how he was doing, he would reply, If I were anybody, if I were any better, I'd be twins. He was a unique manager because he had several waiters who had followed him around from restaurant to restaurant. The reason the waiters followed Jerry was because of his attitude. He was a natural motivator. If an employee was having a bad day, Jerry was there telling the employee how to look on the positive side of the situation. Seeing the style really made me curious. So one day I went up to Jerry and I asked him, I don't get it. You can't be a positive person all the time. How do you do it? Jerry replied, Each morning, I wake up and I say to myself, Jerry, you have two choices today. You can choose to be in a good mood or you can choose to be in a bad mood. I choose to be in a good mood. Each time something bad happens, I can choose to be a victim or I can choose to learn from it. I, can, I choose to learn from it. Every time someone... comes to me complaining, I can choose to accept their complaining or I can point out the positive side of life. I choose the positive side of life. <laughs> yeah, right. It's not that easy, I protested. Yes, it is, Jerry said. Life is all about choices. When you cut away all the junk, every situation is a choice. You choose how you react to situations. You choose how people will affect your mood. You choose to be in a good mood or a bad mood. The bottom line is, you. it's your choice how to live your life. I reflect on what Jerry said. Soon after, I left the restaurant industry to start my own business. We lost touch, but I often thought about him when I made a choice about life instead of reacting to it. Several years later, I heard that Jerry did something you are never supposed to do in the hotel, in the restaurant business. He left the back door open one morning and was held up at gunpoint by three armed robbers. While trying to open the safe, his hand, shaking from nervousness, slipped off the combination. The robbers panicked and shot him. Luckily, Jerry was found relatively quickly and rushed to the local trauma center. After 18 hours of surgery and weeks of intensive care, Jerry was released from the hospital with fragments of the bullet still in his body. I saw Jerry about six months after the accident. When I asked him how he was, he replied, If I were any better, I'd be twins! Want to see my scars? I declined to see his wounds, but I did ask him what had gone through his mind as, he, as the robbery took place. And the first thing that went through my mind was what I should have locked, that I should have locked the back door, Jerry replied. Then, as I lay on the floor, I remembered that I had two choices. I could choose to live, or I could choose to die. I cho chose to live. Weren't you scared? Did you lose consciousness? I asked. Jerry continued, the paramedics were great. They kept telling me I was going to be fine. But when I wheeled me into the ER and I saw the expressions on the faces of the doctors and nurses, I got really scared. In their eyes, I read, he's a dead man. I knew that I needed to take action. What did you do? I asked. Well, there was a big burly nurse shouting questions at me, said Jerry. She asked if I was allergic to anything. Yes, I replied. The doctors and nurses stopped working as they waited for my reply. I took a deep breath and yelled, BULLETS! Over the laughter, I told them, I am choosing to live. Operate on me as if I am alive, not dead. Jerry lived thanks to the skill of his doctors, but also because of his amazing attitude. I learned from him that every day we have the choice to live fully. Attitude, after all, is everything.